on WordPress development 2.0. We're using Bootstrap for our grid. Today I'd like to talk to you about index.php. And index.php is the default page for your home page. It will also count as if you have a link to your entire blog. I believe it will use index.php. Uh, we can test it in just a moment. First thing I want to point out is I added a comment here. Now, because index is a default for the home page, you might want to add some features at the top. So I put a little placeholder comment just as a, a reminder of things to add. So if I don't get to it in my series, you might decide you want to add, for example, an image gallery or create video links or some kind of like call to action. You highlight a product you're selling, whatever it may be. It's a good place to put it. Um, but we're going to focus on the blog post and I want to focus on the loop and a query which is a way that you can target specific posts. So if you want only the top four posts, you can set that. If you want posts by a particular author or someone, you can do that as well. So I went ahead and began with the code for the structure of this and we're going to add in all of our main uh, uh, PHP templates. So we want to get the header and so we're going to go ahead and add all those features in here. On the sidebar, we're going to go ahead and get the sidebar. So don't forget to put your PHP Okay, so that gets the sidebar. And then finally, the last thing we'll do will be to get the footer. Okay, so anyways, to save time, what I really want to focus on is I, I want to hit something a little bit different. So in previous posts, we talked about the loop. But what we did talk about is how do we get a specialized loop and do exactly what we want to do. For that, we're going to use a PHP tag, and we're going to create what's called a query. A query is just like a search. Uh, if you're making a, an inquiry, or uh, you're inquiring about something, you, you're, uh, you're looking for something. So a query is the way in which we're going to look for specific post content. Now let me show you a list of some of these query functions that you might find handy. So I'm going to go get this information. It comes from a great article. It goes back a couple of years. Uh, but a comprehensive beginner's guide to the WordPress loop. Zach Gordon wrote it. Um, I found it very useful in finding different um, items related to functions. So here are the things that the loop can display. These are not all of them, but they are a good uh, set. Um, we also have things that allow us to find out information about what page we're on without having to be there. So we can find out if we're on the home page. We can find out if the admin is logged in and visiting that particular page or post or whatever. And uh, using all these, there's sort of questions like is, is single? Well, is it a single uh, post page? Is page? Does that mean is it a page? So there's that. Um, and then they have examples of multiple loops and things like that. And so it's worthwhile looking here. And here we go. It's the WP query function. WP query is a function. And it has um, what they call uh, options or parameters or arguments for this. And so we can filter by a lot of different categories. So the first one we're going to do is post per page because we're going to limit the number of posts per page. So I'm going to copy that directly and I'm going to go over here. Now, in order to do the query, what we're going to have to do is um, create the link. Um, we're basically going to create a variable call it args, which is shorthand for arguments. And we're going to make it equal to an array. And it looks like this. Now, an array in uh, WordPress should look like the following syntax. And technically speaking, I believe this is like um, a dictionary or a map or a graph where we are basically connecting uh, keys with their values. So the key, in this case, would be post per page. And in the number of posts, we could do three, for example. Okay, So that would be creating one argument for a query. Now, query has to be in the form of an array, where we have, you know, basically, uh, another view could be, we could call it a flag. Uh, but anyway, so we post per page, we're going to say it's equal to three. Notice it's equal, but then it's that uh, greater than sign, also known as an angle bracket. Okay, so then what we're going to do is create another variable, call it the query. 
equals. Now what we want to do is we want to get the WordPress. We're going to call that WordPress function. Technically speaking, if you are uh, know anything about computer science, we're going to create an object called the query object. And so whenever you create an object, it always going to equal a new. WP, whoa, sorry, wrong symbol. WP, and I can't spell today. WP query, okay? And then in it, we're going to pass it the arguments that we gave, which is args, which is spir it's pirate speak for yield argument for your query. I don't know. All right, so anyways, okay, so this sets it up. Now the query is going to be a WP query, and that's going to pull in just the posts we want. In this case, three posts, okay? And that is a per page limit, okay? And so that is our setup. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the standard if. And in this case, it's no longer have posts. It's going to be if the query, and we'll do a single like this. So if the query have posts, OK, um, closing that. And then we do our colon while, and again, it's the query have posts. And then one more time, we're going to hit enter just for a room. The query, the post. Okay, and that sets up our loop. Okay, so um, if we have, oh, guess what I did? I put this all in the wrong location, silly me. It's got to appear above the article because the article is going to go around every post. Eh, can't believe I did that. Okay, this is what I get for trying to be all fancy and save myself some time. Uh, the article will be in the loop. You get it? And, never mind. Okay, anyway... I'm going to go ahead and scale that back by one tab. I'm going to create our next one, PHP, end while. Remember, the end while is what deals with the, um, the while loop, the, the loop of the different posts. So the end while ends that, but we also had an if statement. So what happens if there aren't any posts using that query. And this is even more important than ever to get the else in here. Anyway, so there's the structure. So this would be if there are no posts. Okay. We already had an article up here, so we're going to stick an article in there. And we'll get rid of the extra line return. And we're going to use header three. Uh, where's the header two? Excuse me, header two. Sorry. I don't recall if I did this on another tutorial, uh, but we're going to go ahead and do PHP tag. And on here, we're going to use this little underscore E. I'm going to give it a message. Now, this is for if you are to use multiple translations. If you have people translate your site into other languages, you would use this particular function. And you can give it one argument or two arguments. The one argument is just the string of what it is. The second one is kind of like the source of where the translations are. I'm not doing that, but I just thought I'd show you because you may see this. Um, and there's our error message if we don't have any posts. Save changes. Uh, we got to show something on here, so we're going to do a header two. And let's go ahead and do our standard um, standard PHP tags. We need to use the per oh wait 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 before we do the permalink, let's just go uh, ahead and uh, do the title. Okay, so there's our title, and around it we're going to have the permalink.
And that's the link to the post itself. And now, because it's an href equals, uh, we're going to stick our PHP tag right directly inside of our double quotes because we're going to uh, get what's called the permalink, like so. And what that function is going to do is get the link to the current post. And so we insert it right in our href attribute of the anchor. And then let's go ahead and add our excerpt. And let's save our changes and upload it to the site. And so there's our site. I'm already all ready to go. And let's go look at the page that I was on. Now, at this point, Mighty Thor, Marvel Universe, making cool two column layout is kind of the last thing here. Notice it's not two column because the second column is underneath everything. So I'm going to hit refresh now. This is the home page, by the way. And now we see Mighty Thor, Cinematic Universe Gallery, cool charts, two column layout. A couple things you're going to notice there's no excerpt under here or under here. Uh, but you can see there are four links here. And my query said that there'd be three per. Did I just count three? One, two, three, four. Did I not do this right? Let's try two posts per page. Upload that. Okay, so the, the links per page is not working. Uh, posts per page. Oh, there it is. I put a space on accident. There's your problem, or my problem anyway. Oh, yeah, overwrite. Hey, be careful. Sometimes it just takes. Yep, there it is. Now I just have two links. Quick thing you might want to know about excerpt. If you don't set an excerpt, then this is what you're going to end up with. Okay, once we have the excerpt, let's go ahead and um, we're going to take a look at some author-related functions because I wanted to show you this. This is part of um, part of WordPress Codex on reference for the author. I looked at the author, um, and we have one called the author, and this must be used within the loop. But I went to the bottom, and I looked at all the other functions here. So we can get a lot of different information. And so uh, the author posts link. I really like that idea. So let's try putting that in there. And so I'm just going to put a paragraph tag here. And I'll just put posted by. And then we'll create that PHP tag. And I believe it was the author posts link. That is one long function name. Save our changes and we will upload it to the site. And we'll hit refresh. Oh, that's the wrong page. Home page. There we go. And posted by dev. I click on it. Bam. There it is. Author archive. And it sent me there. So that works. We want to change up our query we can change it post per page we can set it to four save our changes upload it and you will see that that one works now so we have that and so um, in future tutorials i'll cover even more concepts that are part of your post loop